Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the conditional rendering in the view template. So for conditional rendering of the HTML elements, so we, uh, Vue.js provides us two different types of directives. One is vi-if and another one is vi-else and another one is vi-else-if and the last one is the vi-show directive. So these four, these are the four directives which we can use in the Vue.js HTML templates to conditionally render these HTML elements. So let's try to see one by one. So the directive, first directive is vi-if. vi-if is used to conditionally render a block, HTML block. This block will only be rendered if the directive expression returns a truthy value. So that HTML element will only be visible if that variable or anything, whatever the variable you are using in the VAF and if directive is true, then only it will be rendered or otherwise it is completely removed from the DOM. I will try to show you that simple example. So here we are having, I will create a new component, conditional component dot view. So this is our conditional component. So here I am creating a template and in this template, I will be having one h3 conditional rendering. So this is our conditional rendering. Let's go to the main.js and here I will be having conditional component. So this is our conditional component and here I will be pasting and we need to have another one conditional component and conditional component. That's it. So we have added it here. Let's go and add it in the app.view also. Here also I will be adding conditional component. So we have added all the places now let's see the output so here we are able to see the conditional rendering the first directive which i want to try to show you is the vi if if i try to use setup and in this one first let's say that we have a variable is awesome so is awesome and we'll be having ref of true so first this one is ref of true or otherwise ref of false now is awesome now we have i have a div element that I need to show view is awesome view is awesome so we have this one and if you try to see the output here all the time this view is awesome we will be able to see what happened ref we need to include it okay ref we need to include it yeah we have included it and now if i refresh this page so we will be able to see in the inspect in, in the conditional rendering view is awesome so now we are able to see all the time view is awesome now if I now here is awesome is false now i want to show this div element when this is awesome variable is true only so it's written set when it is true only i need to show this one right now it is false so that means i don't want to show this div so what i can do here we can use a vi if if directive okay and here i can write is awesome that's it when this is awesome is equal to true then only show this one if you try to see here in this conditional rendering we are not able to see this one not only like that in the html dom element also we are not able to see that element so it is not it is not hidden something with a css property like display none or visibility hidden so these all css property is not applied to this one completely it is removed from the dom so that is the benefit of vi so that means in the initial rendering only it, it will not render this element so this is the usage of this vfnu for example let's say that i have an another one u so i want to show that if is awesome is false means then i tell oh no it is not awesome so i will i need to show this one so now if i try to see here so we are able to see oh no it is awesome so if i make it as a true so that means i need to show only view is awesome so now if you try to see both are visible but this time oh no it is not awesome should not be visible why because is awesome variable is true so in order to make this one what i can do so i can reverse it this one so vi if and if i can reverse it if if it is not awesome then show this one so if i try to see the output so here we are able to see view is awesome if i keep a button at the top so one button i am trying to keep a oh what is happening I am creating a button here toggle so I will be having a toggle button and here I will use at the rate click is equal to is awesome is equal to not of is awesome so I am adding here 
the toggle button if you see here so if i click on this toggle so we are able to see this output okay fine right but here the view provides us with a another directive that is vfnls so here that condition in such a way that if it is awesome show this view is awesome or otherwise else show this one so that means here we can have we have a another directive v hyphen else so we can use this directive so that we can show this one if this one is not true now if i try to see the output also we will be able to see the same output see so here we are able to see the same output but here if you try to see the completely the dom element will not visible so the two dom elements are there right we use awesome oh no it is not awesome so either only one element is visible here so the two elements are not visible so that is the benefit of this one so that is one thing not only this one we have an another option that is nothing but v hyphen else hyphen if so this is something like a if a if else architecture so if you try to learn about the else if blocks so we can go on right v hyphen if v hyphen else hyphen if like that if i try to show you one option something like constant uh, type is equal to ref of zero so i will try to show you ref of zero so, or otherwise ref of one and here i will be having something like do one and here vi hyphen if type is equal to is equal to one if it is equal to is equal to one means then show it like this or otherwise vi hyphen else hyphen if else hyphen if if v type is equal to is equal to two means then show the two and vi hyphen else hyphen if if it is three means so it show it three and at the last you can use the else if you don't have any other condition not a number or something like this you can add it now if you try to see type is equal to ref of one and i will be having a set interval i will try to run the set interval for every three seconds here i will try to update update type dot value plus plus now if you see the output so for every three seconds it will try to update it so here it is going through the if hyphen else block okay so like this it will go so if not a number so it is going through a series of the things vf and else hyphen if like this and it will try to do it so you can chain multiple times here so how many times you want to chain it you can chain it multiple times so that is one benefit of using this one similar to vf and else else vf and else hyphen if element must immediately follow a vf and if or a vf and else hyphen if element so this one should immediately follow like this vf and if and vf and else should follow immediately with a vf and if or otherwise these these vf and else are else if and if are it will not be recognized and another one which i want to tell you is so if we have one scenario so something like constant show para is equal to ref of true or otherwise ref of true yeah we'll keep try to make it as ref of true now show para is there here i am having some paragraph h h4 so here i can add um, paragraph heading i'll be having like this and here i can have one p p element and lorem ipsum adding so like this you are having some series of elements multiple elements you are having okay so this is something like an article so we want to show show para or show article so true now i want to tell that if show article is true only i need to show this paragraph these are all the things i need to show it once one situation what you can do is i can keep i can wrap this entire thing in a parent div okay and i can add it something like v if and if show article like this we can add it so i can add it like this show article so this is one way but in your requirement so you should not wrap it with any other div so it should not have any other due so it you should not wrap it so now how can you add it and another thing what you can do is so here you can add one by one show article so like this you will be going on adding like this for each one which you want which you don't want to show it or which for which you want to get apply this condition so here like this you need to do but here this one will become some tedious job for you so for this reason so we have a template element so we have a special option that is template element so which it acts as an invisible wrapper so here you can wrap it with the template so in the rendering this template will not be visible so here you can add it like a template here and for this one you can add the condition v if and if is equal to show article so like this you can add it so this is the benefit of this template element so the final re rendered result will not be included in include will not include this template element 
So the last directive which I want to tell you is the VI fun show directive. So this one also another option. This one also conditionally displays the element with the show. Uh, we can show that uh, conditionally display the element with the using this VI fun show directive. But the what I can say is the VI fun if and VI fun show is uh, usage is largely the same. But what it will try to do is it will try to render the element using the CSS display property. So that means all the time it will be rendered in the DOM only. It will remain in the DOM. But it will toggle using the CSS property, display CSS property of that element. I will show you. For example, here we are having view is awesome like this, right? So here I can have another one view uh, v iPhone show property. Okay. And in this one, I will be writing v iPhone show is equal to is awesome. I am writing it like this. If you see this output, if I try to refresh this page, and here somewhere you will be able to see v iPhone show property. And if I click on this toggle, so automatically this has been removed. If you try to see in the inspect element, but this actually it is not removed from the DOM. So this is the main difference between the VIFNIF and also the VIFN show prop directive. This one for this one, what it has been applied is so it has applied this display none CSS property. And if I click on the toggle, automatically that style has been removed. So this is the difference between VIFNIF and also the VIFN show directive. So this is the main thing. So VIFN show does not support the template element or it does not work with the VIFN else. So the VIFN show doesn't have a VIFN else property and also it does not support the template element. Template element is also not supported. So this is one of the thing you need to understand it. So template element will not be work and also it, it, can, it doesn't have the VIFN else property. So what is the difference between this VIFN if and the VIFN show? Both are uh, doing one and the same, but the main difference you will be able to observe is the VIFN if does not render the DOM element, uh, does not re render that HTML element into the DOM. Whereas VIFN show is rendering the element in the DOM, but it is uh, hiding that one using the CSS display property. So that is the main difference we have observed it, right? So VIFN if is a real conditional rendering because it ensures that event listeners and the child components present inside that conditional blocks are properly destroyed and recreated during the toggles. So that is the main thing. And VFNF is also lazy. If the condition is false in the initial render, it will not do anything. So it will not show you the, that one. So the condition, the conditional block won't be rendered until the condition becomes true for the first time. So when, uh, so in the contrast, VFN show is much simpler. So it is always, it will be rendered regardless of the initial condition with the CSS based toggling. <clears throat> So generally speaking, what I can say is VIFN if has higher toggle cost while VIFN show has higher initial render cost. So prefer to use VIFN show if you need to toggle something more often and prefer VIFN if, if the condition is unlikely to change at runtime. So that is the difference what I can tell you. So this is all about the conditional rendering which are available in the Vue.js. So there are four different types of conditional rendering directives available in the Vue.js. VIFN if, VIFN else, VIFN else, VIFN else, VIFN if, and also the last one is the VIFN show. So these are the things. Hope you understood about these properties. Uh, sorry, it is directives. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.